Hi, Dr. Hayes. Um, my name is J.B. Verdon, and um, I know that I've been missing your class, me and another one of my teammates, quite a bit for um, baseball, but uh, we're trying to keep up with everything as much as we can. Um, but my book report I decided to do on Inside Out by Larry Bird, and the reason why I did this is because the title itself caught my attention. Um, real changes is possible if you're willing to start from the inside out. And to me, that was something that really caught my eye because, like, right now is a time period, like, in which I'm able to see changes. And this allowed me to see changes a lot more within myself that I can make. And I'll go a lot more in depth with them a little bit later. Um, but um, to get to, like, the overall, what I was able to get from it, um, I was able to get that pain in our lives is something that, cannot be avoided, like it simply can't, and it's up to us on how we bounce back from it. Um, for example, one of my favorite quotes, whenever I'm down or anything is, um, if you hit rock bottom, that's an absolutely great thing. One, because there's only one way up, and that's, there's only one way to go, and that's up. Well, I just gave myself up, but um, that's something that many people don't do. For example, a lot of people go into drugs, a lot of people go into um, gangs and other sorts of wrong roads and wrong paths um, that the Lord doesn't want us to go to but that takes us away from growing our relationship with Him and basking in His glory and His perfection um, which ultimately just like I said just leads us, wrong, leads, us wrong, leads us on the wrong path and just leads to regret and just um to sin ultimately and this also allows us to see sin more clearly it allows us to identify and just be able to see um, the good from the bad a lot easier the holy from the unholy and so on um, and this allows us to allows us just to see a change or inspired change to just bloom and blossom from within us um, that won't be just a change to last a semester a uh, a change to last a month to last the entire school year and so on um, this is a lifelong change that is inspired within us because um, the Lord brought it within us um, and this allowed me like I said earlier I was going to talk about my personal changes it allowed me to see the change that I the changes that I have to make um, for example um, I often question like am I a good enough son am I a good enough Christian am I a good enough uh, baseball player, boyfriend, and so on. Um, like, it allows me to see whatever, um, like, I know myself, and I know that I tend to um, wait till everything's just piled and piled and piled on top of each other um, to um, make a change or, like, get inspired to make a change, feel motivated, but I don't want to have to make that call at that, like, um, to feel like, oh, well, there's nothing else I can do now. Like, it's too late now. I, I don't want to have to do that. So now it's like, I'm looking at it like, wow, like I really need to make a change before it gets to that point. Um, and another thing it allowed me to see was that um, I can do so much more things for others. For example, on the baseball field, I'm very passionate for baseball. So um, rather than seeing it as, oh, I have do this I have to do this it's like no this is like a gift like it's a privilege to play this um, a couple uh, months ago actually in the fall we went to a baseball league um, of like kids with disabilities and like they one one kid in particular um, his name was Michael came up to me and I never forget what he said he'd be like hey like how does it feel to run like just run free and I was like wow like I love talking but for the first time ever that was like the first time I was ever speechless like truly had no idea what to say um, and I was like uh, I don't know and I literally just looked at him and I was like but I know you'll get to run for you one day um, and it, this book just really inspired me to see the changes and see the, like the little twi like little corrections that I might have to make in my life in order to live to the fullest. Thank you.